Hey Clashes, the Channel 15 update maintenance break just finished. We have new offers in the shop. We have the Channel 15 update ready to unlock and to upgrade everything to max. I already said this in my first couple of videos where I was saying I'm collecting resources, I'm collecting magic items because I want to max out Town Hall 15 on the first day, if possible as the first person. Let's try to do that. Let's try to make this work with the first upgrade going. And we are here. We are here. Tunnel 15 is on the board and we are ready. We have a ton of magic items, okay? We have cool offers to buy, which I'm going to obviously buy. And we have some nice perks, which we can still unlock with the gold pass. Actually, I should have done that before upgrade. Well, don't worry. We have enough gold, I feel like, overall. That should be no problem. In maxing out tunnel 15, remember, wards do not count for this, okay? I want to make this clear, this would be kind of a bit too strange. But let's get all of the offers with the credit code ITSU. If you want to buy all of those offers, make sure to use code ITSU. Really appreciate that. Thank you for the support. But now let's dive into the jamming spree. Let's dive into the craziest jamming spree after just admiring those incredible skins. I mean, take a look at that. Come on. Like, those new skins. They're in an 11 out of 10. If, I mean, this is for me the perf- like my- personal favorite hero set of all time. At the same time, it's one of my least favorite scenarios of all time as well. I just, it looks like a lake of milk or something. Like this sea is, it's not mine. It's I, it's not really my type of, okay, of like of, of scenery. Overall, the hero skins are incredible. The scenery is not as much, but the scenery which you're going to unlock as free to play, in my opinion, looks better overall. By the way as well, we have a nice progress base, which makes all of this jamming spray way easier. If you want to copy that, no problem, down below in the description, you have the base link, you're welcome. But let's get ready, let's place the first couple of buildings which you have bought from the offers. And I feel like, with having too much to do so, like we have to spend so many resources. And I feel like I can only fit this into one video. If I do not want to make like a huge, I don't know, series out of it, which I feel like is a little bit over the top. So instead, we're going to spend now all of those magic items to max out Town of 15, except walls, and let's do that in style. Let's do that with speeding things up, and I will obviously let you know what exactly my thought process is, because we do not just want to spend brainless money, which I guess in the end it, this somewhat is, but at least we want to make it a little bit in a smart way, okay? We want to make sure the numbers are correct, we want to make sure that we're not wasting any resources, and that's the important thing. And for that, Dark Elixir is the key. That's why we're using the first couple of um, hammers already on Dark Elixir upgrades. For example, the Monolith is easy. Monolith has to be upgraded with the, um, with the hammer. It's just one of the best things. The next thing as well, Getting the queen to level 84, so then be able to get her to 85 with another hammer. The next thing that we have to do is getting those upgrades from the gold pass to the level where we're going to unlock another rune of Dark Elixir. Because as I said, this is going to be the key thing. This is the, going to be the deciding thing in the end. So much we have to upgrade. Not only buildings, not only heroes, but as well resource, uh, research, um, researching for troops and everything. So. Yeah, let's get out of those um, hammers in again. Let's spend a second rotation of hammers on troops. Again, the Dark Elixir troops. That's the important thing. Dark Elixir troops and Dark Elixir spells. Not because it's the most important thing to upgrade first. No, this is not what this video is all about. This video is all about getting to the max stage with trying to pretend to use my brain, okay? This is what we're trying to do. So, Royal Champion, keep going with her. At this point, I want to compare how much the Royal Champ from... Um, from 34 to 35 costs compared to the king from 84 to 85. That should be the numbers. Overall, I think the king is more expensive. So we should use the hammer over there. That's that's quite obvious. And because we have so many runes, we need to upgrade the storages. Without those storages, this is going to be kind of tricky. And we would waste a lot of resources, okay? This would be really upsetting, to be honest. But we have still a lot of resources to spend. We are already kind of out of Dark Elixir, which sucks, but let's spend for now a little bit more gold, okay? Let's get some upgrades in for those Inferno Towers, they look kind of nice. 
Unfortunately, we don't have any hammers left, so we are on our own when it comes down to resources, when it comes down to runes and everything. Right, uh, the warden. Warden is up next, and which means we have now upgraded every single hero to max. Yay! We, 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 okay, we did it. We, we upgraded the heroes. That's nothing special, sadly, because this is such a small portion of this update. It is incredible. It is brutal. I mean, it's not easy. If you want to have an upgrade guide on how you should do it, no problem. I mean, just check out my video from yesterday. There's an entire upgrade guide of what you should do to get to the tunnel 15 maxed as efficient as possible. But back to us. We keep spending resources. I mean, we have just so many resources. It is crazy. Elixir, we have to get this elixir going to make sure we're getting upgrades in the um, in the lab done. Especially Archer and the Baron. I already said that. Even though I feel like in the end we have to upgrade everything anyways, right? So let's just do that, okay? Archers and the Barons, though, are important upgrades if you just want to make sure that you're upgrading as efficient as possible with the strongest troops first but for now well we have just so many resources everywhere we can collect our collector still and we can that's the nice thing buy a ton of resources with our raid medals that's wait a second raid medals that's a good thing because those were clan war medals which we just used so we have to do the raid medals now the question might be it's why you're not using the raid medals for elixir or gold the answer is actually pretty simple, because raid metals, you should only use them for resources if you want to generate Dark Elixir. Really important, because with the Clan War metals, that's not possible. You can only generate gold and elixir with your um, with your Clan War metals. Really important to note. But, let's make sure that we keep getting those upgrades um, coming, because, oh boy, we're running. <laughs> Magic options are, are dropping quite a bit, and... Again, as I said, you just saw it, red metals are only really worth it to use with the Dark Elixir. It's one of the best things, just at least for this gemming spray, okay? That's like one of the best things. So, you can already see, we have upgraded quite a bit. That's nice. That's really nice so far. But, we need to keep going. We need to keep going quite a bit because, um, yeah, so far we're struggling quite a bit. We have not even locked out of the pets yet, okay? I think that that's something we should do next, okay? We're done. Unlocking all of the... Okay, we have just gotten them on level 1. I know that's, that might be nothing special, but we're on our journey to get them to maxed. That's the important thing. At this point, it's really brain power, which is getting me to making sure that there's not too much Dark Elixir wasted. And I'm saying this in a completely unironic way, because um, I might have wasted a lot Dark Elixir. But I think I did a pretty good job of always trying to get to the perfect amount of making sure that I'm not wasting too much Dark Elixir. In the beginning, it was somewhat easy. In later stages, it was not as easy anymore, but we were able to do it. There's a couple of tricks we can do. I don't know if all of you already done the have done the single player missions. There's some Dark Elixir, or the practice mode. There's some Dark Elixir, or maybe the challenge. If you have not taken off the new challenge yet, there is a bit dark elixir in there, in there as well. I have used all of those things to make sure they are always hitting the mark with those pets to hopefully waste as least dark elixir as possible. But running already low. We're running already really low on dark elixir runes, and we have not gotten that far just yet. There's dark elixir as well on the gold pass, which is giving us another level for. The next pet. So this means Frosty now is on the next level. But we're still like we're not even close. We're not even close. And already our Dark Elixir runes are dropping low quite a lot. This is going to be uh, not an easy thing at all for us at this point. But let's just get to something. Uh, let's just get back to something as well which might be more enjoyable. Which is a research, a research lab. But I guess we should just get back to pets. Because the pets is the main thing, okay? If we have upgraded the pets, if we have upgraded those, we are looking good. Because the only thing I'm worried about is Dark Elixir. I think we have enough gold. I think we have enough Elixir by far. The only thing is Dark Elixir. And this is going to be expensive. Because I think I should be short on Dark Elixir. Around about 1 to 2 million Dark Elixir. Maybe even 2 to 3 million Dark That would suck. But... But we, we have some gems still, okay? So we can buy resources, something which I would never, never tell someone else. Like, don't do it. 
don't jam resources. It's one of the most stupid thing you can do, okay? Except if you're recording a jamming spree video and you're trying to like set a world record with trying to upgrade as much as possible, as quickly as possible. But that's pretty much the only thing where you can even where you could even consider doing that, okay? Don't don't do it. Don't do it. If you want to spend money, maybe buy the gold pass. If you want to get really crazy, buy some offers. But gold pass is probably the best thing you can do if you just want to speed up your progress and don't waste too much. But let's get back, okay? Let's get back because we'll keep spending those resources. And maybe at this point you know why I'm speeding this up. This took forever, okay? This is taking freaking forever with all of those upgrades. It is incredible because, as I told you, I'm not only trying to upgrade this um, overall, like trying to speed run this to be a max town of 15. No, I'm trying as well to do this as smart as possible with trying to, as I said already, get challenge resources in there. Um, get single player resources in there. Just making sure that we have all of the Dark Elixir always on point and we're not wasting too much Dark Elixir when we are, I don't even know, when we are having resources left over. So, yeah. The next thing as well, at this point, we are about, we're closing in on getting our first pad maxed out, which is uh, something nice, but we have four pads. To max out. That, that's the problem. But we'll keep going. We'll keep going. We have another rune going for us. And that means we're coming closer and closer. Buying another more. A couple of stacks. And with that. We are so close. One more rune. One more rune. And we have Frosty to max level. Let's go. Celebration. Okay. That's oh, that's only one pet. We have still three more to go. So maybe I shouldn't celebrate too early. Um, yeah. This is, <laughs> this is taking so long. And it's getting quite expensive. At the same time, though, I will let you know how much I spend on the update day on getting this to maxed. But now, let's do some challenges because, well, as I said, there is some free resources in there. So we're going to grab those. So let's do that and spend more gems. <laughs> because, I mean, there's only so limited resources in those things, which is saving us a couple of thousand gems maybe. But I mean, all every single safe gem is, is a happy gem. So that's like what I would say. At this point though, I think we have to yeah load up our gems because we are running low on those gems. We have another rune. I think this might be our last Dark Elixir rune. So we have to use it for another max pad, okay? At this point now, we are out of runes. But we have the practice mode, okay? There's not a lot of Dark Elixir, but there's like 13,000 Dark Elixir, okay? And that is a little bit, okay? It's, it's more than nothing, and I will take that. The next thing, though, we have to, again, get some more gems. So I have, again, gotten some more gems in this one, which means, at this point, mm, let's get the gems going. Let's get the Dark Elixir going, because we are so close in maxing out all of our four pets. This is the most insane thing. Overall, 16.8 million Dark Elixir without a gold pass. This is just insane for Town of 15. But if you think now we're done, <clears throat> no. Because we have still not maxed our our, our buildings. We have not maxed our lab. We, we, yeah, we have just maxed our heroes and pets. Nothing more just yet. But we're about to get now all of those upgrades done in the lab. So let's just do it one by one. We started with the Dark Elixir, going off for Elixir, and doing everything one by one. So it's just like at this point, just like always doing the same thing, which means get Elixir going, upgrading something in, in the lab, buy more Elixir in the, um, in the Clan War Raid Metal, no, the Clan War League metal shop, buy some more over there, collect resources from the gold pads, and repeat. That's pretty much it what we're doing right now with trying those, tr getting those troops to max, somehow, in a, in a way, getting that done. That is like right now our mission. We're about to get closer and closer to our goal. Spell is next, spell is next, but there's still a siege, okay? We have to unlock the siege and we have to still unlock the new troop, the Electro Titan. One of my favorite troops in Clash of Clans. Not because it's the strongest. I think it's decent, but it's not that crazy, to be honest. But 
I just like the concept. And I freaking hate defensive Lava Hounds. So that's, this is the troop to punish Lava Hounds, okay? If you don't like Lava Hounds, that's the troop to use. And that's what we're going to do in a couple of the next videos. But for now, we're getting back to not upgrading our army camps. Because there's just so many dog, like so many elixir upgrades. So many elixir upgrades. Army cams, research, lab stuff, the lab itself. I mean, the pet house is already an insane amount of resources. It's crazy. It is incredible how much we have to spend on, like how much, how much I have to spend. Because I mean, I have set my this goal already, so I'm, I, I guess I have to blame myself for this one. But still, overall, we keep going. Barracks now max, which means we have unlocked the Electro Titan. We're going to have to max her as well. She's quite expensive for a level 2 upgrade, like over 15 million elixir. That's quite expensive to be honest, but I think we're looking fine. Getting another rune in, and we can see already with this last upgrade, we should be done. All elixir upgrades are done. We have still a couple of runes even left, and that's nice. It feels great. It feels great. And now we're still up to another buildings. Like, few more buildings and then we are maxed out and if we keep going that with that like with that speed we are the first person to max out on a 15 if you do not consider walls which is a world record i guess because i have not seen anyone else yet i have not seen anyone else i was i mean i, I did stream all of this and i did not see anyone i mean i, I did not see anyone because we rushed or we were straight online we rushed right onto the stream did all of the upgrades and we did amazing because those upgrades at this point is just do the same thing and repeat repeat everything again and again and again because we have just so many runes those magic items are making those upgrades insanely easy at least if you're buying offers and you're spending money but still if if you're doing that then you're looking good and that's exactly what we did so non-stop just repeat getting those upgrades in getting those upgrades non-stop in and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And not even that, we're getting the wards upgraded as well, which is awesome. I mean, I'm getting, I'm about now to get the last couple of cannons in. Or like, first off, we have to finish the air defense and then we're approaching the last couple of cannons. But as soon as we did that, I mean, we can even spend the last couple of runes into wards. So we should be really close to even being fully maxed out without even saying the word that without the wards, okay? That is incredible. But let's take a look at we have only a couple of air bombs remaining. Only those remaining air bombs. And then we are maxed out tunnel 15 without the walls. And that is happening right now. So let's do that. Let's get everything done. And with that, we are about to close in the last couple of cannons. The last couple of red air mines to get this account to max out. It is crazy. It is crazy. And before people are like saying, it's you, don't complain. If you're maxed out and you're getting bored by Town of 15, that's fine. I have more accounts which I will farm one by one. But um, this one, I told you I would max it and I'm doing it. I'm standing by my word and I did it. I have already everything maxed. I have only 120 watts left and we're looking good. And I'm, I cannot wait for how this is going to work in Legends. If you want to see how I'm doing in Legends with this base, make for sure to follow this channel because you do not want to miss that. At the same time though, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this quick summary of me breaking down what I did with jamming everything. I will see you otherwise back tomorrow. Until then, see ya and bye bye.